Hello, I'm Kevin Modlin and I'm an employee owner and 19 year veteran here at InSource. Take a look at this ultra modern control room. This isn't a movie set, it's an actual control environment and yes, the giant video wall has detailed operational information aggregated from the control systems at several sites. This 45 by 3 meter futuristic control center was done with Wonderware's modern SCADA platform. Most manufacturers won't be deploying anything quite this far out in the next few years, but it might be worth thinking about ways that your plant's operational visualization strategy might be improved today. Over the next few minutes, this video will explore the modern control room and changes you might consider which can put the right information at the fingertips of people who can react most quickly to improve your operations. A convergence of technologies is allowing significant advances in the state-of-the-art for modern supervisory control systems. For instance, it's now possible to merge information from multiple disparate systems into a single pane of glass for your operators. Obviously, this includes a modern UI with elements like multi-touch gesture capabilities, multiple HD monitors, various screen sizes, and more. This sample application provides a dashboard view of water volume across the United States. The live data is geolocated on a map with regional roll-ups. The user interface supports the concept of clutter and declutter so that the information can be visible or hidden based on zoom level. By the way, clutter declutter applies to all parts of the user interface, not just to the maps. But as I drill into a specific state, you'll notice that all parts of the UI are synchronized and I can move from one site to another by swiping so you won't see my finger but if I swipe up from Florida to Georgia you'll notice that all parts of the application are synchronized including a web element here in this case I'm just showing Wikipedia but later in the video I'll show you something that's probably more directly applicable this interface also allows for fly-in panes from each edge of the monitor I'll show you two examples for now the left pane opens a navigation hierarchy that lets me jump to any other site in this region or another. The navigation hierarchy gets automatically built from your plant model, but can be customized. The bottom fly-in pane allows me to put the system into historical playback mode. Think of this like a DVR for your process. It allows the operator to use the same UI to see what happened in the past with a variable replay speed. Obviously the two from times are configurable, I won't go into that for now because I think you get the idea. And also, some parts of this user interface are highlighted when I'm in historical playback mode, but that's configurable. It doesn't have to look like what you see here. But think how useful it would be to use the same graphics that your operator normally has to see not just what's happening now, but also what happened yesterday, or two hours ago, or a month ago. A modern control room usually includes the concepts called high-performance HMI. The idea is to minimize the use of bright colors unless you're trying to get someone's attention. For instance, if I create a critical and a high alarm on this page, it'll be obvious which areas need attention, both by the brightly colored borders and by the alarm icons in the navigation header. This concept is covered in detail in other videos, so I won't spend any more time on it now. But let's circle back to the idea of pulling data together from multiple systems. Admittedly, you probably wouldn't want to embed Wikipedia in your control system, but it allows me to cover two points. First, any part of the screen can show content from a web page, and second, the URL can dynamically be created based on where you are in the equipment model. Let's use an example that might be more relevant. If your plant has a web-based maintenance application or some other tool, that can easily be merged into the operator's view of the world on a single pane of glass. I just got a call on the radio that this inlet valve is sticking. So I'm going to launch the web-based maintenance management tool and see if a work order already exists. Looks like there is no order for that problem, so I'll create one right now. A 
Another powerful feature that underpins the modern control room is that supervisory control systems scale to fit almost any form factor. If you really want to tailor the experience to a specific screen size, the application can have different resolution templates so that they better fit a tablet or even a phone. Here's an example of an OMI application running on my tablet. All the graphics are the same, but they're arranged in a different template to better suit this form factor. In this example, the application has been tailored to run on my smartphone. Again, the same graphics are reused, but are arranged in a way to better fit this screen size. Choices like this allow me to fit the entire control room in my pocket and take it with me wherever I go. Let's review some of the key elements of the modern control room. First, the ability to easily embed content from other systems. The term Operations Management Interface, or OMI, represents the next iteration of the HMI since we're now including more than just machine information to operators. Next, high-performance graphics, which intuitively draw your focus to areas needing attention. Third, clutter and declutter, or the ability to show more detail as you zoom in on a particular graphic. Fourth, historical playback, or the ability to see historical process information on demand on the same screen your operators use day in and day out for normal operations. Finally, the ability to easily fit multiple form factors. Well, thanks for watching this video. If you've got any questions about the content or like to talk more, feel free to reach out at any of the methods on the screen. Thanks again.